Hello friends, let us solve a problem based on Bosinex theory. First, understand the given problem. A rectangular footing of size 2 meter by 4 meter carrying an intensity of pressure 8 tons per meter square. Find the stress at a depth of 5 meter below the CZ of the footing and also under the any one corner okay intensity given size of the footing is given and uh, they are asking us to find it two different points one is under the cg of the footing and another is at any one corner uh, let us say uh, one data is missing let us say they are asking us to find using the bosinus theory in the exam they will mention you Unless otherwise it is mentioned as a stratified or warward layer, we can use any theory, Bosignes or Westergaard's. Okay. Now, first let me represent the given data. There is a footing. I am drawing the plan and also we will draw the cross section at the same time. Let us say this is your footing. And it is having dimensions of 4 meter by 2 meter. And if I see from the 2D dimension, then well, let us say here you can consider any dimension. It's up to your wish. Let us say I'm considering 4 meter. This is the footing. And we have to find stress at this point. Let us say this point is 1. And also any one corner, either this corner, this corner, this corner, or this corner doesn't matter. Let me assume this is my corner too. Okay. I want to find out stress at point 1 under a depth of 5 meter. Similarly, I have to find stress at point 2 at a depth of 5 meter. Okay. What is intensity given? Q will be equal to 8 ton per meter square. If this is like a uh, this load is distributed throughout the area. But if you want to find out what is the total load, that will be equal to intensity into what is the area of the rectangle, 4 into 2. That will be equal to 64 tons. Where it will act? It will act at the CZ. That means it is act directly at this point. So let us say first we are finding stress set directly below the or stress at the CZ point 1 at a depth of 5 meter. So for that what we have to find? Q is 64 tons. So that is at how much depth we have to find out it 5 meter and what about uh, load is also acting at CZ stress is also acting at this uh, stress also we are finding at CZ. So what about the radial distance 0 that's it what is the bus thickness formula that will be equal to Q divided by Z square into 3 divided by 2 pi into 1 divided by 1 plus R by Z whole square whole to the power 5 by 2. As already we have seen, if radial distance is equal to 0, this time will goes to 1, then it will be equal to Q, 64 divided by Z, 5 square into 3 divided by 2 pi. We will get a stress around 1.22 tons per meter square. So if you solve this equation, we will get 1.22 ton per meter square. In the next case, where you have to find the stress? You have to find out at this corner. Depth is same. But the load and the point, both are on the same point? No. They are at the different point. Then what you have to find? You have to find the radial distance. How you will find the radial distance? Radial distance is nothing but a in plan. Okay. You should not see in the cross section. If you see from the top view on footing, R is nothing but a radial distance from load acting point to the where you are finding the stress. So if I looking into the top view, how my footing will look like this. This is where the load is applied. This is where I am finding the stress. So what about the radial distance between these two? What about this dimension? If this total is 2, what about this 1? If this total is 4, what about this 2 meter? Now, what about this radial distance? Now R will be equal to under the root 1 square plus 2 square. And then you will get R will be equal to under the root 5. So that's it. 
Now find the stress at point two at a depth of five meter. That will be equal to Q. Already we have found sixty four. Depth is a five meter square into three divided by two pi into one divided by one plus what about the R under the root five? What about the Z five whole square to the power five by two? Now if you solve this, you will get a stress of magnitude. Uh, if you solve this equation, we will get it as zero point seven seven four tons per meter square. So here one thing you have to remember. By finding Z, they will directly give you. But coming to the radius, you have to find it like you have to see from the top view on the footing. By seeing top view on the footing, we have to take radial distance from load acting point to the point here we are finding the stress. Okay. Thank you. In the next video, we will solve one more problem based on this method. Thank you.